A very good morning to all our viewers. And welcome to the 86 Josephine Peter at Battle of the Saints. Day 2 here at the Peace of the Oval on a lovely Saturday morning. You'll be expecting a lot of crowd today, Brendan. Definitely. And uh, as uh, at the end of day one yesterday, the first innings for St. Peter's. Uh, for the bowling side of St. Joseph's, uh, Asher and Daniel picking up four wickets yesterday. At the, at the end of day one for St. Peter's College, Lahiru Davatake on the batting lineup. Lahiru Davatake with the highest score of 64 from 95 balls. Banuja, second to that, 48 from 72 balls. And Shanal Bokeju scoring 37 runs. And for the St. Peter's bowling, Vinuda Lianage, the left arm Pacey, has picked up three wickets for just 24 runs. And Trisha and Victor Masinga, the right arm Pacey, one for 28 runs. On the other hand, St. Joseph's in the first innings, uh, bowling first. Uh, Masashi and Daniel picking up four wickets, being the key bowler for St. Joseph's yesterday. And picking up four key batsmen for St. Peter's. There are four openers. And after that, Dunit Vellalage picking up two wickets. And the captain himself, Joanne, picking up one wicket. Dunit Vellalage picked up those two wickets in his last over. That was an amazing over, Brendan. Yes, and he got a run out as well. And the highlight, I think, of day one definitely would be Josephian batting innings. Where when St. Joseph started off their innings, it was a poor start. They were 41 for the loss of four wickets, and in came in Dinet Jayakodi and Sadish Jayavadana. Dinet Jayakodi scoring a brilliant sense, still in play in day two at the 86 Battle of the Saints, is, the, is now the highest fifth wicket partnership with a partnership of more than 150 runs and I uh, hope that Dinath and Sadish are able to continue this with and go in with the, with the momentum they had yesterday and so that they can continue to get this, uh, get the trail, uh, get the runs that they are trailing after and get a solid lead which will, be, uh, which will enable them to put the Peterites back into batting and put pressure on them. The, P the Petra, it's only leading the Josephians by 35 runs. I think the Josephians will be able to break that trail today and probably get a good lead today. Yes, I'm sure in the morning session itself, the Josephians with Dinet and Sadish uh, starting off today's session, they will be able to get those runs easily. As we saw yesterday after lunch, uh, when uh, both teams began to uh, began to lose momentum uh, after uh, as the day progressed, and also yesterday, uh, I don't know whether you noticed, but when Dinet and uh, Sadi scored the brilliant uh, knock that they played, the spectators coming in and. Stop him play also was yes I did notice yes <laughs> I'm sure everyone did and uh, it it uh, definitely did uh, lose uh, uh, give uh, did not uh, enable the two batsmen to continue that momentum they had it certainly took a huge toll on them wasn't I told by Pramukh here that Sadish had a bit of a problem with his back after after uh, some spectators yet the Petra is showing a bit of energy on the field today. Nice to see after the Josephians still being on top after yesterday. 
St. Josephians slowly and slowly reducing that trail to 33. They'll be looking to get a huge lead today. Just stylish batting, flicked off. Gets a single on that occasion. Sadish Jaiwanan back on strike. Both of them rotating the singles really well. Keeping the pressure on, to the, on the Pete Wrights. Hit back straight to the bowler, Vinodelianage. That ends his over. At the end of 43 overs, St. Joseph's College, 198 for the loss of four wickets. Looks like Trisha and Vikram Singer will be bowling the next over from the media box end. Shannon Fernando with the new strategy in mind, taking the paces into the attack today, early morning. The 200 run mark almost achieved by the Josephian batsman. St. Joseph's College currently one run away from the 200 run mark. Dinet Jaikori still on strike. Trisha and Vikramasinghe charging in. That's a quick delivery. Dinet Jaikori looking for the couple. Sadish Jaiwadhan, Sadish Jaiwadhan, Dinet Jaikori. It's been brilliant to watch them. Plays that to the field at long on. Crosses over for a single. Dinet Jayakodi back on strike. Trisha and Vikrama Singha should be looking to trouble the batsman rather than bowling short. Full pitch delivery, Lynette Jacody. 
plays that to the field and long on crosses over for single. Rotating the strike really well. Keeping the pressure on the Pete Wright fielders and the bowler, Trishan Vikramasinghe. Should certainly feel agitated at this point. That's a good, that's a beautiful shot by Sadish. Races away to the boundary. Full pitch delivery by Trishade and just dispatched by Sadish Jayavadana. The, the cover field uh, could not do anything once that ball was off the bat. Sadish Jayavadana should be looking for a three figure score today. That Drop. was a close one. Dropped at covers. That's unfortunate for the Pete Wright fielders. That's the end of the 44th over. St. Joseph's College currently 206 runs for the loss of four wickets. Lianage continuing his spell from the Pisara Oval End. Adjusting his field. Should be looking to attack. Sadish Javadana, batsman on strike. Catch was dropped off him the, in the last ball of the previous over. That's good bowling, Vinodili and again. No ball signal there by the umpire. That's good batting by Sadish. Gets a single. Shannon Fernando not looking too happy with his fielders. We know uh, Lianage should bother, it should bother him that his fielders are not supporting him and not giving him the support that he should, especially with the task that the Pete Wrights have today. Yes, and I think Shannon, the captain, making sure that his fielders do not give easy runs by sloppy fielding. Quick single there. Inside edge down to the pad and goes moves the field that cover. Gets a quick single on that occasion. Nipuluka Fonseca, the field that covers.
That's a beautiful shot played to long on. Crosses over for a single. Dinet Jayakodi back on strike. That's good bowling by Vinod Dalianage. Fielded at the by the field that covers Nipunaka Fonseca. Having a small chat with Vinod Dalianage as he goes back to his run mark. That's a um, that's a beautiful shot by Dinat Jayakodi. Plays it down that field in the mid wicket region. 